Hello everyone, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Reckoning of New York. Make sure everything is recording, yes. So, the Empire of the Sun. New glossary term. What did I pick up? Well, yeah, besides K. Haven Hound. Those guys are probably just K things. Anyway, I entered Tiny the acting all cool and collected as if none of that crazy shit fades me. Got my turn ready for all this reading. Where's the fucking peppermint? Cause it helps. Oh god, it doesn't help. Cause the problem though is, what I need to do is I need to actually record this before I do any of my upper recordings. Because, you know, this one requires the most reading compared to the others, which means the most talking. Which means that way I don't have my voice worn out before, or well, my throat worn out before getting to this. But the peppermint helps. As just the upper heart candies I ran out of. Give me a second. There we go. Interesting attaching all code collections if none of that crate should have phased me. And then Terry looked exactly the way I expected. Kaleidoscope of stickers, mirrors, lights, and banners covering pretty much every rubber surface interspersed with we weren't seeing musical instruments and playing space for dancing. I say that I've seen it a hundred times before and dozens of states doesn't quite capture the whole picture. That guy said it feels like home. Spine Skylar is easy with her head full of bleached dreadlocks. Besides the bar is practically empty, maybe all the kindred are going to bring in the holiday season, who knows? Scrapping noises. She turns to her table completely focused on scrapping something in a notebook. She doesn't notice me as I approach, so I guess they pick it one with a page and just got some gorgeous intricate designs for I assume. Geometric tattoos. Nice drawings. Well, those are dope. You can peep up. Plop her down right next to her. She Shaking out of her reverie, she gives me a confused stale. Oh, hi. So, you are. Give me a second, journal. Sorry, I need to. Uh... Yeah, I thought Major was a potential Roger Mill. Entire. Yet they made him sound like entirely this bulky, overly buff dude. Doesn't look that. Doesn't look that. Ah, uh, Julia. I don't even have any day on her. Isn't she supposed to be, um. Isn't Skylar supposed to be a. Satite? I mean, the hell does look sort of snake-like, but... I wouldn't pass her off as a satire. Well, the problem though is, let's think about it. Our real introduction to satires back in Redemption was... <laughs> hey, by the way, we're gonna dress like, you know, this whole Egyptian cult thing. In our Egyptian temple thing, just that. We're gonna be overly. We're just gonna make it seem overly set ish. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's kind of my old gig. Don't know what voice to give you. I guess we go with that one. To find clients at night, huh? Like, you could say that. Her eyes now on me, to which I respond with my bride's grin. 
Uh, like, can I help you or something? Wait, yes, no. Wait, no, Major sent us here. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Then who was the... Okay, I'm confused. Who was the one that I was supposed to go visit? But we decided not to go visit? Who the fuck was the satite one? Right, like, who's the other one? That's why I'm trying to fit, remember. Shit, and I can't remember now, that's the problem. <laughs> it's like there was the other one that we wanted to visit, but we decided to go, go with Patrick's thing, apparently. Ah, shit, what was his name? Cesaric or something like that. That was the set I won. So, yeah, okay. I have no idea who Skylar is. My bad. I said you might be able to help. You might be able to. Name's Cali. Looking for Edmund Castle. Never heard of him, so if that's all. Where do you think you're going? Got by the car or as gently as I can, easy back down. She's this little, but let's be honest. Ah, yeah, she's a thin blood, right? Thin blood. Thin blood is nothing on a well without kindred. I keep her down easily, but my grin widens the matter that is hopefully just a little bit threatening. Usually favor dodgy clown play over sparking, but this time my impulse is still me towards chaos, and I let the flood take me like a ship on the winds with its swept sea. Like, like, go up, man. That's my question, then. Renard Castle, where was he? Look, I really don't know any Renard Castle or whatever. I'm like, okay. I'm playing dumb. Do you look like I'm here for games? Got the shit and talk. Like, I have nothing to say to you, bitch. Let go of me or start screaming. Well, I don't have Bob's guide. Here's the thing I want to remind you. Not sure how obfuscate is going to help. Not sure why uh, uh, chemistry is an obfuscate thing. Here's the thing, she's a thin blood. Thin bloods are usually technically generation 13, 14, 15, somewhere around there. They have little they don't have that great power. A pretty fucked. You, in terms of vampiric powers, like the barely vampires. That's the whole thing about being thin bloods. So I'm gonna use my power, and that's gonna be like, hey, you, you, you need blood more. So anyway, who do you think you are? The threat increase, hunger increase. That's why you ripped out your fucking windpipe, you won't. Oh jeez, that's not why I meant it. That would have been too aggressive. Sit down, let's talk. I start to wander dim by the show without my bearing for a moment when she sits in motionless her upper body twisting in a slightly awkward way before tensing up if she's gonna bolt by and ready for it. Her upper body neck is slam her uh, onto the table and turn her face toward me. I only calmly repeat my question. Now, where's Renner Cast now? She just keeps struggling for a moment and then just goes to them to feed in and see from her frustration. Like, I honestly don't know, and I've only heard bits and pieces about him. Any outcomes worth their self knows all the major suppliers in the city. There's sling ink and mitts potions. That's quite the combo. Screw yo, batch. Not sure where my genius compliment went wrong, but okay. My genuine compliment went wrong, but okay. There's a scoop on Kazel, for probably it's going whereabouts. Like, I keep telling you, I got no clue. I or even late eyes on him. Give me something worthwhile. You're sort of wasting my time here, girlie. Let me a good chat, but I'm on the clock at the moment. 
Like, alright, you're out, will ya? I know someone, there's this courier, she loves all sorts of shit all over the country. Can get you pretty much anything. She's type of Casa, alright. Interesting, go on. Go, go on, go on, what? I just remember the words around my eyes. Go on, hook me up with her like yesterday. I oh, was searching, she still has to to help me. Well, time for the stick has come and gone, now time for the carrot. It was in a line when I told Matt how I'd rather not make any more enemies in the city. Look, you're not exactly catching on here. I could just take your phone and set up the me myself. But I'm feeling really generous, so I'm asking you politely, I might add. Ooh, baby, it's not converting. Yay. I have to push buttons. Pushing buttons. Buttons have been pushed. Pushing other buttons. Yay. Like, you call that polite? You know, I could switch back to rude. I can get back to impolite if that's what you prefer, but I think you'd be rare if I didn't. Who wants what to be in the pot? Alright. You send me an email with that code of yours, and I'll clue you in where I stash my goods. You have to work up a little, but she still eyes me with great suspicion. Like, what goods are we talking about? Flash her a reassuring grin, and though she records the letter, her attempt at nonchalance for her was misery. Like bl blood stash is obviously top quality, best variety. Or your letter out coming his heart might possibly desire a deal. We shut my hand and possibly give her the space to decide before I'm forced to make the decision for her. Luckily, after a brief deal of liberation, she reaches out and shakes my hand. Like a Dale, hold on, I'm gonna make a quick call. Not only lads keep her inside if she wanders over to the stage and takes our phone. Doesn't look like. Here's the thing, I can't tell by these bars how bad things are yet. <laughs> her tends to go over how I treat her. Maybe I should just start over with that whole blood stash thing. Yeah, well, I'm not certainly a planner, am I? This courier leads me to Renner tonight. So, search could end in a matter of hours. It's night two. You, you realize it's night two. You, you realize that it's not going to happen tonight. There's a thought of myself from the looming threats of the camera and the annoying caitiff, and there's also so future endeavor and it warms the chambers of my undead heart. Finally, Scarry hangs up and gets back to the table, fishing with the charm hanging from her phone. Real bundle of nerves. Done. Means of 15. Uh, let's move. We have lights as bright as we're all we judged. In the snowfall greets me outside, Grace recovering the dirty side, watching a layer of pristine white and dusting the occasional projection with soft clean crowns. Guy the winds is at the screams of the madman brushes off the fallen snow. I don't know where unless that in my hell, undisturbed. So we'll never bother me anyway. So who we mean exactly well? Oh she opens her mouth at a perfectly serviceable vehicle, cuts the corner of a patter comes to over the steering wheel. A roaring storm cloud on his face, he pulls out of carelessly and lunges towards Sunday's before noticing Skylar and me. He paused his face, scrunching, confusing, he, he seems generally surprised to see me, and I was uh, spinning somewhere between feeling smug for defying his expectations, exasperated that he had so little faith in, in my word, and slightly regretful I never even attempted to flee if only to catch his reaction. Sadly, he regains the composure before I could tease him about. Like your hair, that's good. Nah, yeah, for now. Tell me it was on route out for but yeah. You were supposed to wait for me here. I know we're sure we're going to do that, but then no one said anything about taking detours. Rose decides and then set up skates on Skyler, though. Besides, you show up uh, suspiciously like a pair of fabric cats on a hot tin roof. Patty meets Skylar, puts the local animal group in that crew of alchemy. Skylar, meet Patty. It's Patrick, actually. Pleased to meet you, Skylar. Yeah, right, you see performer goof. Got a nod time curly, I can see the apprentice in her eyes, so I step in, hoping to keep up our fragile troops. Don't stress too much, Patrick might be a bit uptight, but he's alright. He's just here to offer us a lift, that's all. I am? Yep. I see. Skylar thought I was between Patrick and me, but in the end, she seems to just give up on caution. 
Maybe the prospect of a red blood stage just keeps you on track. Like, we need to get moving in the main place ain't far, but, well, that curves aren't known for their patience, that's hot all. That curve, huh. Interesting. There was another game, um, what the, was it? There was another... Very novel, but not by, I don't think it was by the people who made this. Where you basically... Played as a night courier, or... Someone that asked for it. Something like that, I believe. Who's this particular courier, exactly? She tries making her way toward the k tips ride. Don't know why I know her by the uh, hand, aren't she? Always wears a helmet, so... Ooh, how mysterious. No, she's clued in to any location. Seems like my kind of gal, too. Maybe I should start wearing something on my face, like a cool mask. It's kind of my reserve breath. Gag would be more fang. Honestly, Patty and her would definitely head off. Birds are forever, yada yada. Give her a gag you instead. She presses her lips together and gets into the car upon upward. Satisfied, I nod to myself before turning to Patrick. Anyway, you done with the torque thing? Yes. Yes, be response slightly suspicious, and now my eyes judge him openly. Well, well, I'll have to find out about that when we do the patty playthrough. More importantly, what's that, uh, what's that all power night carrier? What's that all power night carrier? There we go. Need more than nerdy voice. Mario mysteriously fling the uh, passenger open, and there it is. Paris Otto was I. He's very fond of his moral reactions to my antics. Forces of the angels, I see poison. Poison into your ears. Heed not, oh, heed not, though, honeyed words. Thank you, loves me, and I'm instantly ready to bounce. Tony from B. The living from before is nearly before Patter, clutching at the hem of his pants with his head thrown back and mist over eyes staring blankly into the night sky. He stops screaming by his lips grow with faint whispers that fade into the air like smoke. Dream on your slumber for the day, Star Wars sales truth unto your whole being. So I roll my eyes ready to toss a grip about like attracting like, but then I noticed that Patrick has not moved an inch. Dead motionlessly into the man's eyes, completely frozen aside from his hands, fingers twitching wildly, spinning the dice ring. Been fidgeting like that a lot, actually, not that I'm paying attention. Uh, Patty, you, you okay there, buddy? You want to the carriage, how a madman falls over and just... Notice I approach and gently free Patty from his grasp. Uh, Patty, talk to me, what's going on? Turning his hands to our hops, then all of him on traces. He avoids my eyes and shoves his hands into his pockets. I am fine. You sure about that? What was that all about? Like, I do not know. I do not know. Let's not fret about it for now. The night courier is waiting. The night courier. I knew every feature of whom Renard had tied in, given my role as a logistic scout for poetry. I'm just tired, but I have no clue who that night courier might be, and it sends my. Church of Senses into overdrive. Usually I drove the car with some kind of fiber talk while I'm with friends or just by myself, but this time, just let the silent tank. Whoa, I didn't mean to do a clock well. New Paddy nor Skylar seemed to see no chat at night from the classic Queen Trads playing, so the k tips perfect serviceable cars, almost uncomfortably quiet as we cruise through the night streets of New York. I like how we keep calling it this perfectly serviceable car. <laughs> and the strange sensation in my stomach with like I've been a chunk of ice. Can could get into jet and I blame it on my last mortal meal, but since that's not a thing, I guess this fear must be anxiety. We're not my usual vibe, something about this whole situation makes the heroes on my neck stand right up.
Looks like there was something terrifying away from me our destination, just a few blocks away, but weirdly enough, my guys tell me not to run from it. My cat is usually spot on. To be perfect in the means why the night car stands out immediately, mostly because she's the only one around, clad in dark levels and sporting a helmet. She almost disappears into the night alongside her bike. Barry comes to a halt before Skyler jumps out of the car and approaches the car in a fierce stride. Seems eager to talk and even more eager to bolt. To keep my eye on her, ready to give chase. She looks like she might make a run for it. Now I've got a question, I shoot a quick glance at his way and catch him looking at it. Skyler just as intently as I am. I'm a high emotional. Well, I'm also in wood in their place. The real question is whether she's willing to sacrifice assets to my stash for that chance. She seemed pretty keen to get her hands on it. I see, well, let's hope her interest has it waned then. The moment Sky prohibits and heads her way, we cut the chat and step out of the car. Like, five minutes, that's all I could get for you, spend it well. How much is that for me a gesture that feels overly formal? <laughs> I check it vigorously, keeping my face utterly solemn. She jerks away, clearly taken back by my intensity. I got the key, you know, to your stash. I hit up my end of the bargain. Yeah, yeah, I got it right here. That's the key, which you easily snagged out there. Pleasure. Did I even say where my stash is? Probably not. <laughs> I just gave her a key and didn't say where the stash was, didn't I? Okay, I. That's right, this conversation about where it is. Then she's off into the night. She disappears for cash and purse of the night crew. Or one look at uh, Patrick reveals a similar impatience. Maybe wants to take the lead, and honestly, while well, I'm not exactly third to step aside, seems like a pragmatic choice. That's fate. Right. Negotiations with Scarlet were less than sterile by my standards. Uh, Patrick really hardly gets a word out before the courier cuts him off with a sharp, sour response. Aren't you supposed to be wearing a helmet? I'm like, shut the hell up, pretty boy. Wait, I know the sound of that walking angst vortex. Kelly, the fuck did you get yourself into this time? She takes over a helmet on the floor, staring at her face, and I was high to again. I was having some vampire afterlife fantasy. Just how shit, is that actually you? Just the way you drag my ass over here to start in this shitty high school reunion. It's perfectly as I went down to give her a hug, but her thundercloud of her face screams back the fuck off myself for an awkward pat on the shoulder. So to introduce uh care to introduce me. This is I to pop out of her head. Oh piss off, is this really why I'm out here? But no, hell no. It's um, uh, let's just go one step out. Oh god, the mirrors are swearing. Fuck. Battered me, Jessica Wainwright. I know you like a farmer. She was far for a group before she up and vanished like a ghost a year or back. Yeah, that is totally, totally not what we should be going for, for that. Speaking of which, we thought you were good. You were going for good, I mean. Seems stoned by that, but she swallowed by a rush of words just clawing at her throat. Fucking music swell. God. Like. <laughs> like, seriously. I turn it down to five, it's still loud. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like... Okay, I understand the problem now. So, the problem is, that doesn't count as music. Does it count as a sound effect? Nope. That's just a master volume thing. <sighs> Why do you do this? Oh my god. 
Oh, that is great. So what if I do this? No. Not stop. It's still going. You fuckers. Okay. Settings. God, that's everything. You know what I love to have? Mute volume that isn't controlled by the volume slider. <laughs> that's stupid. Well, that clears up the mystery of the silent phone. Playing like that, I fucking even mourned you, you dick. Not like I could touch beyond the grave. FYI, I left you guys a fucking note. Some situation is real. How are you on about? Renard said, Ah, of course, Renard fucking just castle, turning shit into gospel. Or this after we saw features hard. What the hell are you poking around for him anyway? Why, cause it's a fucking Tuesday, that's why, and by that I mean he's off the grid and now I'm in neck deep sh neck deep for shit cause the camera wants him found. Right, then who is this drama? I mean, since we the rap keeping her afloat in the cesspool she's plunged into. I can lie, I jump up a little, so I sort of forgot he was even there. I <laughs> still toss him a wounded looking pout a little while, just as our hearty laugh. I'm sure that's way of a partial review. Oh, you filthy, filthy little lifeline. The sheriff had me... had him chat on me. I swear he's useful sometimes. Maybe it's a pretty yet infinitely punchable face that does it. Right, and you just wanna... along with all this creeping around because why is that thing? And you see the 2000, well, 2025 right around the corner, I'm exploring my personality bit. But there was this whole kid decapitated by the show display thing hanging over my neck, so yeah, I chose the lesser of the two shit shows. It's clearly not me stepping outside the gang, it has really changed the vibe. But we used to get along swimmingly back when we were camped in that RV together. Maybe a bit of her talk is why I need to mount that ice. I dropped my voice as I'm laying her in on a deep dark secret. Could be told there's gotta be something bigger to play with this whole mess, you hear me? They can't figure out what the hell they want with Rendered and why now of all times. Just shreds across his arms to her chest, looking like she couldn't care less. Water's wet, the sky's blue, and piss stinks. But which I mean, underneath all that charm, because there's been a two faced lying sack of shit from day one. No wonder this whole ivory tower is on them. his tail. Cut off, there's clearly bad breath between her and Rendered. It's showing her a view a bit. Maybe charming? Sure, I'd buy Snake Art off that bastard too. But he's always been straight with me. You do look good. Even you know, where she has this horrid look on her eye, I'm going to her pity. The hair's there to pity. Doing just fine, thank you very much. Heard you the great thing, you might know a cat do it I just laughs at that, I lose my edge here. Well, honey, is an even deeper shit than Kelly is. She had been involved with the circulatory system on and off, passing messages and whatnot. She leans back even further to her bike on her clutches. Like nothing gets her. I always follow. Like Sarah said, mares as well. And nothing gets her. I always follow and trap, but catch myself at the last moment straight up sooner before to continue. What is getting there right up to the top of the shit list just a couple nights back, based on some fresh intel that got from who knows where. Then she leans forward on her elbows, looking at me seriously. This is major league shit, Callie. Could be Uncle Sam level. Might just be not it might not just be Kessler in the crosshairs, but anyone tangled it up with. Keep the hell away. And yeah, so for running away somehow banned from my playbook. I'll literally lose my head over it. She shreds and starts putting her head on. Like it's your problem, not mine. I bet on that clutch of fuck if it's sorry for a reason. My life's been beautiful ever since. Good fucking luck, though. Pause for dramatic effect. And no power called me again. And then she's gone, just sent into her the night. Right back at you, bitch. 
I'll let a competitor like that out uh, an awkward laugh and kick at some loose stones. Uh, she's, uh, she's quite something. How are you holding up? Well, now that the music squire's gone the fuck away, I'm better. I'm a lot better. Eh, yeah, she used to be real sweet and sour kind of way, you know? I guess Fed Zero does chew you up and spit you out. So, the circuit system, huh? What's your take? Patrick mercifully bites his glib tongue and pretends not to see that I'm sorry I'm in shambles. Pierce had more egos in that brand new castle than we had anticipated. The man seemed to require some incriminating intel. He wants to stay so it looked too good for him. Hey, and we're still no closer to finding him than we were last night, or whenever. So it's the night of whoever the circuitary system and intends to hunt you as well by virtue of being friendly to the accomplice. I believe I'm hardly even a sidekick. He levels a blank stare at me and I bark out and I laugh, my spirits momentarily lifted. My hands would go briskly, suddenly appearing like mystery. What's the nature of our lead in Perry Pan out guess we're hitting Sanskrit net? He hesitates highly twirling his ring. More tech than an actual need this time. It is indeed our backup lead, but... Only lead. Fine, at the moment it is our only, but I have my reservation about Sansric. Let's unpack this back in my haven, besides Don is nearly upon us. Josh walking toward the court, then pots when he sees I haven't moved. Took the fraying edge of my sleeve. Swung him off so apologetically. Yeah, funny story, but I can't, literally. Besides, so remember relentlessly. Because it's in the moment for your antics, we need to move and quickly. Thing is, your haven isn't safe for me anymore. What are you? I think that right there, that what are you was supposed to be from Patrick. So here comes the Ravnos thing into play. Just to with my client, if I crash there in the same spot more than once a week, you might as well sweep me up at sundown like a broom. There's somebody piercingly search for it to see which for once isn't there. Finish dance on his hand, spending the ring fiercely, finally come to a stop. Yeah, I get. I'm not sure I oh you do. Didn't worse for in this case, I thought it was especially my stock. And that's when you my place tomorrow night. I've got a private eye in mind who might have an idea to do it. I said, what's his face? Good old, hard to use that voice guy. D'Angelo. P.I., yeah, you're not talking about D'Angelo, are you? He arched an eyebrow flick and surprise on his face. Oh, hey, clean today, see? More like disappointing, the leopard's a good guy, but a dead end. Who knew about Renner and Cat's zero chief and implied it was somehow my fault Renner to add himself the place of the earth? But I can see it's practically a ghost, Sansric on the other hand. Not exactly hiding anything. Dangerous should know a thing or two about him. And if that place is a slippery little yo, we might need leverage to get him talking. Show your smile across his face. Leave that to me, he'll talk. Turns around and climbs behind the perfectly serviceable wheel of this perfectly serviceable car. That can perfectly serviceably guess where we need to go. Tomorrow dusk, my haven, don't let me down. Oh hey, he's actually gonna let me go. On my own. Maybe. Maybe I could go to my RV and... Rest there. I gave him a play for a salute, waving as he pulled away. Oh look at that, nice fleeing into the array, I really need to move on. The Templar is so that I've been eyeing for a crash pad. Oh, I'm going to a sour. Woo. I'm sorry, the rich, but I've done my homework and it's scary enough for a quick sleepover. I'm checking both my luck. I uh, was nice to pray en route. Not good to sleep on an empty stomach after. I did use power, so I do probably need to feed. Feeding opportunity. Your reference home is just a dead memory. I dance for a drench of darkness, the beach dropping like it's on fire. Warm bodies pressed tight, buzz time for fresh blood. I need blood. I use powers. Oh. 
this club is something. I I like this club. I'm not sure if the club I know it's that's some place to hunt. Try with mortals black out drunk and high out of their minds, so why jumping and driving on the giant boy there's no tomorrow. Are you denied right now? Oh yes. I'm gonna curse the offer flying for no time. Let's see, what do we have? Well, if I've done, you know, bloodlines enough, you look for the wildflowers ones that are just hanging out and not actually down with other people. The perfect blow would be easier on the dance floor, but I know better. I was already born at a ray, a ray for Christ, and spent both over five dancing nights at the white clubs of boards. I know my way around like nobody else. I'm sure some of the people leaning against walls without have a reason to take a break to have a drag to find pictures of them. Some of them would really like to be a part of the crowd, it's just that I Stopping them from stepping in. Now I'm here to help break down those barriers. This guy sitting with his back against the wall, head in hand, hugging his knees, ropes, and paralyzed. Clearly, on a bad trip, somebody should hold him out and help him help him. That somebody isn't me, I can always sense the jazz of blood. So, it's hard to be right beneath the skin, and tonight I'm on the move. From Molly. What the teen twitching and ripping around in the corner, close to you, don't even be in the club. Do you teach them the danger of the night before it's too late? Nah, too much effort. Well, if they imprint on me like some duckling. Besides, I've already decided on my target. There's a girl standing by the restroom in the sense of jeans and a tie-dye t-shirt. She has a flush and smile on her face and beer can in her hand. But she poured it out and appeared to a board so that none of her friends. Long lost to the dance crowd and felt uncomfortable around her. Her, I can teach. I approach her straight on a wide and find smile on my lips and watch her shuffle her feet nervously. When I am just anxious away, she opens her mouth to say something, but instead I cover her lips with my own. I don't hear the spray sound she makes, but I can feel the vibration throw under my palm. Nah, restroom. I skip her take her by the hand and push her to the restroom straight into her empty stall. They are grabbing her flesh and miss. It gets a wall and kiss her again, knocking her down. Defenses like dominoes. I shall feed. And remember, this here was in a closed proximity, no witnesses. Well, not really, so yeah. Didn't protest when I moved my lips onto her neck and never on it. But she mind when I bail my thighs and take a bite. Mmm, that hunger decrease. My thread didn't go up, so yeah. Don't drink completely, of course, even though the Maui drink is not you know to completely satisfy me. Honestly, it never is. I gotta go after a few steps and lower down there to the toilet. There's so many days for the church to get up, I keep a firm hand on her to keep her down. Get married to before her head stops spinning. She just power gently as she grew up her hair and disappeared into the night like I always never know. Good luck, I am always urgent. Yay! If you're having home, it's just a dead memory. You've only got a bunch of hideouts, some better than others. Each offering days worth of safety, and one of them is close by. Well, that's. We're relaxing. Relaxing. If the Andrew Haven crawl price is a hobble, then this temporary shelter of mine is a full one catastrophe. So I just want to force Tommy was why he sued to straight a genuine deal. Hey, Mark. Oh, hey, Mark. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. There we go. Mode is practically redecorating the ceiling, and that's not shot in the bed. It's suspiciously damp mattress that makes so much such fluid under the floor if you squeeze. Oh, God. Home sweet fucking home. But hey, at least it's free to kill. There's several chances of sunlight sneaking in here. Maybe because the rest is in. Microbes have evolved enough to shut out anything that threatens their German utopia. Go on the lumpy mattress and soak over my dead Walkman, cursing myself for not getting spell batteries. When I pulled that thing out, I legit thought he was going to wiretap me, but it turns out he's giving me a piece of his past that I'll never get from the fair times, whatever. And this fucking music swell. 
As if I need to know with Andrew to play my tunes, our gang is not as uptight about going online as the tower, so we stream just like everyone else. We kind of got a card to smash here with the mountain of code, old cassettes crammed into our glove box. Then through my bear pack and search for entertainment, you were the wooden stick that almost hurt my heart the night before. Shit, almost hurts like another lifetime. But this is dig since my thoughts drifting to Patrick, who I'm pretty comforted to be honest. Can I trust him? He needs to be on my side, carrying even. Something off road, something unsettling. He's a Malkavian. Can't put my finger on it. Doesn't know if they changes the length of my leash for no rhyme or reason. Move to wings faster than the San Francisco weather. It's so annoying that he's now indispensable to my survival. Different tonight, he was anything but. Still, he introduced me to Mato. Mato. My gut's screaming that this is going to be a game changer for now. Can say maybe even better. Skylar, not so much. Jess? Yeah, hold up. I'm poking at that sore spot for a bit longer. Please tell oh, I shake off the dark sleep that's crawling. Clawing at me, eager, suffocating, and steadily pouring me into the abyss. Meanwhile... I have no idea who you are supposed to be. Yeah, it's been more than considerate. She responds with silence and then I knew who we come. I see stare like her easy to try one to the brink of madness. To weapon she's owned to profession, I thought I'd be used to it by now, but it's like still me vicious for the very first time. How long has it been now? Five, six months? After you're trapped in the zone, the spin of justifications, half truths and un fulfilled promises constantly filled our course. Despite her alleged interest in my unique addition, despite our shared thirst for answers, Despite the growing urgency, the resolution to my dilemma always hovers just beyond my grasp. Still, she is the first character to make me believe she could truly grant me reprieve. No one on my end of the park, not once have I raised objections, not once have I strayed from our agreement. But I'm not one of your puppets, Retra. I thought I had made my sound so unequivocally cruel. Oh. Oh, hi. Nice. Outfit you got going on. That you did. You cannot go on. You need to deliver your promises, or I'm walking away. Crash the smile with a stunning as is real, like a dragon flash in spines. It suits her, given her true nature. All in due time, deal. All in due time. But I don't know what's going on. But hey, we made it through the night. So night three. Five nights down New Year. Many few hours I've had no release I had to turn up for the mean. But we can worry about that next time, because we've completed a night. Which means we're probably gonna save and call it here. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.